Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. If I sound super pumped, it's because I just got the shipment notification for the new Galaxy devices. So I should have some new stuff showing up tomorrow. Super excited about it. In today's video though, I got a cool little trick for you that have the S23 or other Galaxy phone and you want to control your phone directly on your tablet. You can see here, I've got my S23 screen right here. I can go to my app drawer. I can pull down notifications. Basically everything I can do directly on my phone I can now do on my Galaxy tablet. We have some cool options with this as well. We can like expand the window size if you want or make it smaller. You can shrink it down. We can also tap up on here and we can choose to do multi-window. Like here, I'll go ahead and pick another app. Let's grab Amper here real quick. So now I've got the S23 Ultra on the left and we can shrink this up, have full control on my phone, right on my tablet while I'm running apps natively directly on the tablet as well. So you can be working with the tablet that you're using. I'm using the Tab S8 Ultra here, so I can have apps running here while I'm controlling my phone over here. You can move the windows around, do whatever you want with it. In addition to this, you can send and receive files back and forth, text messages back and forth. And if you want to learn how to do all that extra stuff, I'll drop a link to a complete tutorial on Samsung Flow. That's what we're talking about today, is Samsung Flow, and that'll be a complete tutorial on how to do everything with it. But in this video, we're just focusing on casting the S23 Ultra screen over and actually using the phone, interacting with it. So let's go ahead and talk about what you need to get this up and running. First, you want to head out to the Samsung Galaxy Store and look for Samsung Flow for Galaxy, and you want to go ahead and install it on both your devices. After the install is complete, make sure you're signed into the same Samsung account and you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled on both devices. Next, you want to open up Samsung Flow on both devices. Let's go ahead and do that. Samsung Flow, Samsung Flow. You're going to get prompted on the secondary device. We're going to go ahead and tap OK. All right, so at this point of time, we are actually interacting with Samsung Flow. We're ready to send and receive files, text messages, and all that stuff that we cover in the complete tutorial. But for today's video, you want to go ahead and on your tablet, tap this P up here. What this is going to do is start a session of Smart View, but it's not your typical version of Smart View where you're just casting from one device to another. It's an instance of Smart View in which you're able to interact with the Galaxy device on the other, and that's what we want. So go ahead and tap on this P. It's going to prompt you over here on your other device. Go ahead and turn it on. And what we're looking at now is the Galaxy S23 screen. And I can go ahead and prove that to you by turning on the phone right now, and there it is. You see it here, we'll go ahead and go home, and we're gonna have our home here. Now a couple things about Samsung Flow. Once you have it up and running, you'll notice your phone screen's gonna be on by default, but there's a quick way to kind of force it off. Go ahead and tap home. If you're using gestures like me, you'll just swipe up, otherwise you'll have your home key here. It's gonna create a little flow icon to get right back to your S23 Ultra screen. And when you tap on this icon, boom, it's gonna basically make your screen go really dark. You'll see a little bit of stuff on here, but what's gonna happen is in about 90 seconds from now, your S23 Ultra or whatever Galaxy device you're doing this on is gonna go completely black, which is super awesome for saving battery life. And it's great for putting your phone away, just keep it off in the distance and you have full control of your phone, including taking phone calls and all that directly right on your Galaxy tablet. One more thing before we wrap up this video is Samsung Flow runs as a service on both devices. So when you go on each device and you say close out of all your applications, Samsung Flow is still gonna be running. And it's doing that on purpose to allow you to quickly get back to your other device and interact with it. And you'll still get phone calls and we'll be able to send files and send texts back and forth even without the UI elements up on the screen. So to completely close out of Samsung Flow on both devices, go ahead and swipe down on your notifications and you'll see Samsung Flow is running. Go ahead and hit the little down arrow here and turn off. And then what you wanna do is go on your other device and do the same thing and you'll be completely closed out of Samsung Flow. So a cool way to control your Galaxy phone right on your Galaxy tablet and have the full functionality of the device as well. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I always do appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.